Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the valid anagram problem. It says, given two strings s and t, write a function to determine if t is an anagram of s. As you know, an anagram is a rearrangement of the letters. So in example 1, s equals anagram, t equals nagaram. The method returns true because t and nagaram is an anagram of anagram. So it has the same letters, but they are in different order. So it's a rearrangement of the letters. In example two, S equals rat and T equals car. So the method returns false because they are not anagram. They don't have the same letters. It says, you may assume the string contains only lowercase alphabet letters. So how can you solve this problem? We can solve this problem by using an array to keep the count of every letter in the first string. Whenever we find a letter, we increment the count. Then we have another loop to go through the second string. And when we find a character or a letter, we decrement its count in the array. If we find that they don't have the same count, then we know that they are not anagrams. So we can immediately return false. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. If s equals equals null, or t equals equals null, or s dot length is not equal to t dot length, then I can return false. If the reference is null, or they don't have the same length, then I know they cannot be anagrams. Because in order to be anagrams, they have to have the same length. Because they have to have the same characters and the same amount of characters. So I return false. Then I'm going to have an array of integer letters. Because if I look new, array of integer of size 26. Why 26 as a size? because here we are only dealing with lowercase letters. So there are only 26 lowercase letters. Now, as I said, I need to go through the first string. So I'm gonna say for char c go through s dot to char array. And then I'm gonna say plus plus letters sub c minus a. Okay, so what I'm doing here is that whenever I find a new letter, I increment its count. Initially, the array is initialized to zero. So whenever I find a letter, I go to the position for that letter and I increment the count by one. And I want to subtract A from C because I want C to be zero index because the array only has 26 positions so uh, this character I subtract a from it and it's gonna be zero index now I have the count for every letter so I can go through the second string I can say for I can say for char c go through t that to char array then I'm gonna say if minus minus letters sub c minus a is less than zero return false so I go through the second string I decrement the count for any character or for any letter that I find and when after I decrement the count if I notice that there's a count less than zero that means that they don't have the same characters Maybe what, this one has one more character, or maybe there's a character that is not there. So I know that they are not anagrams, so I can immediately return false. If I was able to get to the end, I return true, because they are anagrams. Every character has the same count in both of them. The number of characters in T is the same as the number of characters in S, and they have the same characters. Um, Okay, so I'm going to run the code. 
it seems to be working fine submit a solution okay two milliseconds faster the 97.06 percent so as you can see this is working perfectly um, the time complexity for this is b go of a plus b where a is the length of the first string and b is the length of the second string so please press the like button don't forget to subscribe and see you next time